I think now we need to play a little bit of a visit to Anna's new boyfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know where they're registered yet. I'm guessing at mystore.com. Um, but uh, they're going to need sheets. And lots of them. Anna Kasparian is divorcing her husband of some of the years and marrying Mike Pillow. I couldn't be more excited. Welcome to our side of, of the Harby, Hardy's parking lot, Anna Kasparazian, Andianian, Farazian. Okay, let's do it. Here, but one of our great fans is not here with us. He's here with us remote. Yeah. We got Mike Lind. My headphones don't work, and so I can't hear Dell the things. Hold on the line. Mike, talk to us about. Thing. And we're back. Okay, good. Days ago. Yeah, isn't he just the most courageous man that ever lived? He's just amazing. <laughs> That's right. Yes, Donald Trump is the most courageous man who ever lived in a bulletproof fish tank. Amazing, and to come back right there and show the people we can't give up. This is it, everybody. We've got, we've got to win this election. Uh. Nobody knows how because we've still got the machines. We're not going to have paper ballots hand counted. Nobody knows. I mean, they if they cheated when they were out of office, God knows how we're going to beat them once they're in office. I haven't really thought that part through. And, um, I, you know, my, my ace in the hole, Tina Peters, don't ask me where the hole is, is probably in the hole right now for spitting on a cop or something we've got to save our country and uh i just wish i was there jack with him and you and you're not in the country oh sorry he, he he's in narnia and everybody and uh um I, you know we're praying oh. for a great rally today and a great uh a great feud what do we have a month left here everybody so um yeah that's all and then jesus comes back and it's the rapture not it not quite the rapture uh it's like the like if Trump was the Messiah, it'd be the, the crapture. You know what I'm saying. I'm encouraging everyone. I've, if you go to lindellplan.com, we've laid it out there how we can keep our elections as secure as we possibly can. Yeah, go to and, and sign up for the email list and then put in your credit card and I will send you uh, free of charge, you know, because I can sell your credit card number uh, to other companies to keep my factory floors afloat because nothing's really moving. Um, but I can, I can have those things. I can sit, but just fill it out. And based on what the cards were dealt right now, because everyone keeps asking me, Mike, are they going to do it again? Are they gonna, of course they're going to try, but we. <laughs> right. And last time they weren't even in charge of stuff. Donald Trump was president. You know, quite frankly, it's weird that there's a chance that we'll have less fraud in the election when Donald Trump isn't president. How? I don't understand. We've got, but we've got great things in place. And, and uh, Jack, I wish I was there with you. And by the way, I want to bring it up, everybody. The, uh, uh, I, I'd like to be uh, there with you, but I'm, uh, what's the phrase? I'm on the lamb. <laughs> you see, I'm an unindicted co-conspirator uh, with Tina Peters, and um, I, I just have to be very careful about what states I set foot in. I'm not quite sure where I even am. I told them not to tell me. This might be Canada. It might be one of my farms. Um, the, the war room policy made it possible for me now to get back out there. They, I've spent the last few months kind of writing my pillow as we've been attacked because their CEO wants to secure our elections and we're actually hired. Um, I think it's upwards of a... So, sorry, you, aren't you their CEO? Oh, you mean me? Because I want to... I see. So you're you're speaking in the, in the fourth person. 100 employees, new employees this week, and I really attribute that to the War Room Posse's support, uh, especially the last few months, which are great. Uh Wait a minute. Sorry. You're responsible for 100 of the manufacturing jobs we added in the last month under Joe Biden? You son of a bitch. 
How could you? How could you hire people now? You couldn't wait till after November? Hmm? So we could say it was because of Trump? You couldn't wait? You had to hire because you, you had to fill those orders, didn't you? You had to just fill them. You fucking crackhead. What are you thinking? Uh, Leader Steve has been in jail, and uh, he I promised him when, we, when he went in we would break records here on the war room. President Trump almost... Hang, hang out. Uh, I, this is going to jump forward, and we can't have this. His one oh, dear God. M which, which one of these guys is higher or lower? Nobody knows. What the ever-loving fuck? Rob Schneider is live with a very fucked up Don Jr. Shall we drop in and see him? I love these guys. It's my favorite show. Fantastic. I remember when this guy used to be funny and this guy used to be... S What's the opposite of not coked out? It's not sober. That's never happened. But like when you're not... Before when he was before he was my pillowed. Do this because your dad doesn't need this. Yeah. He doesn't need. Well, oh, but yeah, the country doesn't need it. Nobody needs your dad. We, we, but you don't need to be vocal either, right? You, you you've had a great career in Hollywood. I mean, it, what the sort of the the great irony. I've, I've I've enjoyed your comedy for years. Some of the characters you play, you know, back when you know I, I don't want to offend any friends you may have there still today, but you know. Back when Saturday Night Live was funny, I mean, you, you, you were there with some of the legends of, you know, my youth. Uh, yeah, that's why you're having to look at a list of the cast right now and a list of the characters because you don't remember either. Just, just saying. Growing up, whether it's Sandler or Farley or these guys, and, you know, but... You know, when, they, when they I look just, at your... They just made fun of Kamala Harris and how easy she got it. Oh, well, that's, so there's, there's a, Maybe, maybe they're coming back too. around. Because it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on comedic well, censorship, it, too. It's an institution. It's an institution. Yeah, yeah. Like the deep state, it's an institution. Fuck off, Rob Schneider. That's just goddamn embarrassing. How in the world is anybody expected to take that seriously? That's just... That's gross is what it is. It's disgusting. Hold on. I know I have a button here somewhere for this thing. Where is it? Oh, it's over in this business. Um, I didn't mean to like clip in on that because that's literally happening live. But this is just fucking depressing. 